Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Girl Survives, and welcome to Stargate Races. Uh, this, of course, is using... Um, poor Shiny. <laughs> Stargate Remastered as a base. <laughs> um, I've got Dolly with me today. Dolly is the... Uh, well, partially responsible, I think, is... Is, is that right to say? Are you partially yeah, responsible? For this? Yeah, it's definitely not all my work on Remastered. Uh, yeah, he, he's, he's put it together, of course. This is more my... <laughs> Sorry, what was that? I say you've put it together, of course, but uh, I think I kind of organized it and asked to get it rolling. But the real under the hood work is not. Can't take credit for that one. Is that a, a gentleman called uh, is it John Mitchelson? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, he's uh, he, he used to be a dev for he did the the graphics back end for Star Ruler Two, which is how I met him, and then he ah, went right. to work with. Ah. Uh, Hayslight, who did a way out. Okay. And then after that, uh, he was uh, had some time on his hands between jobs. So I, uh, he was working on some Stellar stuff, and I kind of uh, interfered with that and got him to work on some stuff for Sin. Eh, maybe that's best. Stellaris is yeah, a difficult. Well, we're beast. benefiting, so yeah. Stellaris likes to change what it's doing every five minutes, so it's uh, <laughs> it's quite difficult to model. well. Stellaris would have had a PBR shader had I not uh, asked him to do one for Sins. Oh, that could have been quite pretty. Gotta admit. Yeah. Right. They so, were supposed uh, to actually be the same shader, so I guess it it might still happen. But oh, there we go. He's not trying to woo Paradox anymore, so I don't know if he's going to continue with that or not. I don't think he has time. <laughs> we shall see. We shall see. So, guys. Yeah. Um, what are the key differences that you'll see between Stocksins and um, this particular variant? Or um, we'll, we'll call it Sins Remastered, despite the fact that we're playing Stargate Races. Um, Sins Remastered um, uses a whole different lighting system to all intents and purposes and texturing system. Uh, you'll probably be able to note while I spin around this lovely little atlantis style station, um, the way that the light reflects off all the surfaces is very different to stock sins. Uh, in fact, what it, what it seems to be doing is refracting. Is that a fair word to use? Uh, it's reflecting. It's It's got a very different environment cube, and it actually reflects the image now instead of... It, it's just a lot more accurate. And it can make for some absolutely lovely images. And you, you've made some custom skyboxes uh, to really kind of push that effect home. It's, it's looking good. A couple of them are a little too bright yet. I have actually dimmed some of them in the next release, but okay. yeah. I, I did, found that I did take a look at changing the gamma uh, a little lower to see if that would make a difference, but it actually ruins the image quality, so I wouldn't want to do that myself. Yeah, so the one that you have up right now is one of the ones I've been working on dimming a little bit. I'm a little happier with it. It is a bit too bright right now. Right. I've got a lot of people Especially asking me about races, now, so I should probably answer them. Uh, the races that you can play in Stargate races are the Ancients. Uh, some of these are more finished than others. I think it's important to note that. Oh, yes. Um, you can, we have a uh, race file for the Ancients, the Asgard, the Gwauld, the Ori, and the Wraith at the moment. Do we have any Tauri? No. We don't and at the moment. Everybody asks about that, and there's a long... Well, the story for that's very old. It's basically back when I started this mod, back before Entrenchment came out. Mm-hmm. That's how old it is. Uh, <laughs> I didn't have any assets for the Tauri. So, and uh, SGI was doing it already, and they were really focusing on the Tauri, and I didn't want to, you know, compete directly with them in that way. Didn't want to trade on any Tauris. I can get that. Yeah. So, and now, I mean, maybe eventually, especially now that I'm part of SGI and we, we share a little bit more, it might happen. But oh, you, you're, collecting, my you're, you're collecting mod teams, mate. <laughs> well, I've also got a couple other guys that are not associated directly with any mod that uh, are doing some really nice models for the Tower E. So oh, that's really nice to hear. It, yeah. it might happen. So, but like I said, I got a ton of work to do elsewhere too. So, well, yeah, you, you you've also got your uh, your fingers in the interregnum pie now, haven't you? Oh yes, I've been busy with that the last couple of weeks. <laughs> The good news is, is that Interregnum, when it goes live for 194, is probably going to have a PBR patch. Which it? I hear through the great... Because I actually published the, the beta for it yesterday. Oh, nice. Good stuff. How's the feedback been so far? Quite positive? 
Uh, yeah, there's some that are unhappy with it, and some that don't like the way races play, so, I mean, that's to be expected. That can happen, but that's just a natural fact of life. Now, uh, I wanted to ask, do you have the time to actually play a game with me? Uh, yeah, as long as we're not, you know, three, four hours or something like that. No, <laughs> it's quite late for me, so. Right, let's um, host a multiplayer game. I can't remember how to do this. I never, I never host. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm not used to playing multiplayer either. I think the last time I played it, I had to do a LAN connection over the internet because the... Uh, the multiplayer server just wouldn't play. What's your What's your player skill looking like? Uh, I don't know. I play against the computer all the time, so I have no idea how I'd match up against another. Let's see what we can find. I'm thinking to redo a two by two, uh, two v two, so we can sure. show off what 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 there is to show off. Sure, that works for me. If, if you're happy of being on my team, I, I would be just as happy with that as versus because that's I'm, fine because i can see what you're doing i can actually talk about what you're looking at okay good cool oh i don't want a multi-star system no thank you <laughs> yeah, secret sounds good um system was sort of a fierce battle between ancient races yakety schmackety that'll do <laughs> and any special victory options that you tend to enjoy i usually have them all turned off but you know I like to just skirmish with the AI, so... But whatever you want to do. Okay. And uh, are rampant militias, minor factions, etc. working? Yeah, that should all be working. Oh, boy. I just, in the last update, I actually customized them all to use the proper custom factions, even. All right, there we go. You should be able to find my uh, my game now. It's Girl Survives New. I see it. Oh, there you are, look. <laughs> I'm in. We'll see what happens when we start. Right, let's pop you on team one, shall we? I'm gonna go go owl because it's what I do. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'll do the ancients then. They're my favorite anyway. Uh, we'll drop some Asgard uh, and some Wraith, I think. Um, That's a good uh, choice. I'm led to believe that it's not necessarily a great idea going against uh, going against the Ori at this point. <laughs> They're very strong. Um. But they're also the most unfinished of all of them because there's just so few assets out there. I'm gonna have to actually make them from scratch a lot. I got you. And I haven't got very far with that yet. Okay. Well, you'll get there in the end. Everybody does. Uh, we're gonna turn Allied yeah, Victory it's been on. Ten years, so you know, another thirty will be. And I'm even gonna lock teams, so that that means I can't betray you. <laughs> it's it's a habit. It's okay. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to break the habit. Trying to, I can't promise it. Oh look, we're yeah, gonna, uh... old. I expect you to backstab me, so you know. <laughs> I'm the ancients. I'm not really afraid of you, so. You should be. I've got a worm yeah. inside me, man. That's true, and the gold have a really weird kind of play style that is actually kind of scary. Oh god. <laughs> well, they're they're actually quite simple when you really get down. I like simple. I can work with that. Uh, um, one thing that I, I haven't been able to check so far is, do you have uh, custom Stargate-themed music uh, in the mod? No. Don't. Uh, there's an intro theme when you start the mod that I added just recently. Oh, nice. But other than that... And the reason that I didn't want to check that is because uh, copyright strikes are uh, a bit of a sausage. Yeah, that's one of the reasons for it. Uh... So the other thing is, is it's just me making this one, so, you know, there's only so much I can do. Right, we'll take the Ra Mothership to start with, because it can colonize, uh, and we will take some Teltax. Ra is a good choice. Oh, we've got an interesting build texture. Sorry, what was that? The, um, the build... The well, um, the build texture goes all blue. Oh yeah, yeah. He changed the uh, the building shape. That's right. Oh god, you've got. We were looking at that. It was the last thing he added got before the first accurate. Date. There we are. I couldn't say the word correctly. But accurate sizes for these little tail tacks. That's terrifying. <laughs> yeah, everything in this mod is scaled to 
well, what I consider canon. Um, there's some disagreement, and some of the actual documentation for Stargate is just crazy. I don't know what they It's just plainly wrong. Um, so I used what I consider to be the most accurate information out there, and everything is scaled one to one. So there are some truly monstrous sized ships in there. I also note that you've got several different types of fighters. Um, you have fighter bomber, and you also have interceptor and light bomber. So what, what's the right. uh, the difference there? Uh, the difference is basically the target and the weapon type, and what they'll target. I so. See. Uh, fighters and bombers are the same as usual interceptors target very light so they really go after other fighters because okay. normal fighters are, are light anti-light right and interceptors are anti very light so just slightly better against regular fighters okay I'm and bombers good. and then uh what's it light bomber is good against oh how does it go bombers are good against medium are, are heavy, right? Or is it very heavy? Say so, uh, Say again. Uh, Anti-very... Bombers are good against which armor? Very heavy or heavy? Bombers are usually anti-heavy. Anti-heavy. So they'll be anti-medium then. They'll be just the step lighter. Like, that's how they're differentiated. Okay, oh, that's interesting. I, the reason they're there has nothing to do with that, really. It's just that uh, back in the day in entrenchment, when you had a frigate or a, a cruiser that had more than more command points than it had definitions for fighters or bombers, it would crash the game when the AI built them. Mm -hmm. So if you filled up all the slots, you could stop that from happening. So the reason that they're there is mainly because of that. Not because I really want interceptors and light bombers. It was a fix and it's just kind of stayed. I see. Do you have any uh, intent to have custom buildings at any point? Um, kind of, yes. I mean, the ancients are the only ones that really have them yet. That's what I've been doing since I joined SGI. Okay. I uh, textured about a dozen ancient, including a star base for them. Um, but we haven't gotten to anything else. I don't have models for any of that. So I'm hoping that that kind of stuff is something I can benefit from a partnership with SGI. That stands um, to me. Although we haven't, I haven't really got there because I've been a little busy with, you know, re and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. but you, you've also got a limited partnership with, uh, is it Pegasus Chronicles? Yeah, sort of. Um... I wouldn't say it's a partnership, it's just that I use some of their stuff. They've agreed to let me use some of their stuff. And they've actually started using some of the stuff that I've retextured. Oh, I see. Um, okay. so um, for those who don't know, they... just in case you're not um, you're not up on that mod, uh, folks, uh, Pegasus Chronicles is a uh, mod for EAW, which changes um, well, changes the, the game into the Stargate universe as opposed to Star Wars. Yeah. And uh, they've got some interesting stuff there. So uh, that's where all the wraith come from. Um, although specifically, I have an agreement, or I have permission from the guy who did that, rather than Pegasus Chronicles itself. I see. It's a little confusing. Yeah, it's, you know, permissions. It's kind of wacky sometimes. One thing that I do need to do. Oh, no, I think it can be heard. I think it can be heard. I'm going to turn up the effect volume just a smidge. Make there sure are custom all... sound effects. Yeah, that I, I just I can hear them, but I was can, I was worried that the audience. There may be not what everybody expects, or you know, what everybody's liking. But I have tried to include basic sound effects for them. So seems fine so far. I've got to admit, I really like the uh, the wraith uh, sound of, uh, weapon effects. I should say. Oh well, yeah, well I actually pulled all the sounds out of the show one day. So that's where they come from. That really deep. <laughs> the uh, the yeah, that's yeah. cool. Research. Well, thank you. I noticed that you've got uh, quite unique weapon impact effects as well. Are they all custom? Um, yeah, some of them at least. Uh, I, I, I mean, some of them are done long ago. For a while, I stopped modding since for about five years. So I can't remember. Some of them may predate that. And <laughs> they may have been variants of Bale Knights. Oh, I see. But 
I couldn't really tell you which is which. I do think that the explosions on ancient drones and Ori missiles are definitely pulled, are based off of a, a Bale Knight effect. Beyond that, I'm really not sure. Oh god, you're right next to me. Am I? I hadn't even looked. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I'm not really paying attention to what I'm doing either. So. That and a bit of that. Have I done that? Hmm. I'm out of fleet supply already. But I'm not. <laughs> not even close. But you're the gold. You do have little ships. The ancients, it's all big stuff. Take a look at some of your stuff. The, the smallest ship that I can build for a regular frigate is 15 supply. I see. See where your big ships are. I don't have very many, and I won't have very. Ooh. Hang on, how how is the destiny a Corvette? <laughs> What's happening here? <laughs> it's their small cap. Oh god, I love that. Yeah, I need to give it another go on the texture. I'm not really happy with. Well, look. I, I really liked it when it had, for that brief instant when it had the seed chip connected to it. I think it looked awesome then. Well, the seed chip's in here. It's the Starbase Constructor, too. And it needs another touch-up. I retextured them a while back, but I've learned a few tricks since then. Oh, that gas joint is really inconvenient. Research finished. I just go straight for Algria. That's be my... Uh... Thing to do? Straight for what? I'd go straight for Ogre if I use the uh, the volcanic. Oh yeah, I'm just I was just putting down stuff so I could research. I believe I can do that now. Yes, sir. I do like the reflections. Yeah, they're nice. And it's one of the, it, it's kind of funny because the uh, environment cubes, like the, the map for the, the reflections, is 16 times bigger than the stock. It's, uh, there's just, so you get much nicer effect. I've got that, uh, more um, memory. Well, we can afford to play with memory a little bit. Um, yeah. I've got that really nice, um, skybox that you were working on fairly recently is it uh is it called the fingers of god or the pillars of god yeah that's the same one i see right now too i dimmed it just a little bit uh in the next version just a touch because i find that um, mystic mountain that's the big light one beside mm -hmm. it's just a little too glaring so i've been playing around with the balance just a little bit on that one and that one that you had on the loading screen because I find they're just I'm okay with bright sky boxes but four bright ones was too much if that makes sense yeah yeah it does trying to get sounds we got going oh yeah 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 oh are the um the weapon effects for the Ra class, are they pulled from the film, as opposed to the, uh... No, I use a pretty standardized set of effects, usually, so... Everything across a race is usually kind of the same basic effect, just different sizes sometimes. Um, it depends, of course. Um, but I think all of the gold weapons that are, are plasma, and that's pretty much all they have, um, uh, are just, just different asked... sizes. Uh, in the stream, he says, are the models one-to-one -one in this? Uh, theoretically, just as close as they can be, yes. Uh, that's yes. why you'll notice that the... Uh, uh, into this little death glider over here, um, it's pretty mini. Yeah, the death glider is what? I think it's about 15, 20 across. And the Hataks are a full 680. So you've got a huge discrepancy there. Which is good, that's what I want. Ooh, we're getting a little bit of lag here. A little bit. Don't colonize that yet. 
crazy shit. Up to siege for gets first. Oh, you didn't do it. I hate when they do that. Might need to have a little fiddle with the zoom mult on your um, teltax. Could be. That's not something I really worry about usually. You bring it up to like 1.1 or 1.2. Uh, typically, that fixes most things. Uh, What's happening? I, Are they uh, getting too close? Um, your your zoom distance is correct at the sides, but because it's a long, thin craft, uh, you're clipping through the front and back a little bit uh, when ah, you're zoomed okay. right in. So if you, if you just, I think if you take it to 1.1, you, usually that fixes that for a long, thin craft. Okay, I should make a note of that. I'll try to work. Yeah, that little stuff like that, it's certainly use a little polish. Grab a few more tail tags. Yeah, 11 should do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they use that. fighter movement too, so they're basically like Corvettes. I know, I noticed that. I think I think that's a good feature. Yeah, the the gold basically all their ships are are like Corvettes, so the the Alcash is like that. And then uh, then you get big stuff from there. They're kind of a odds. And they like to share roles. They don't have a lot of ships, and they're all multi role um, so their fleet really centers around the attack. It's it's the the bread and butter. Mm, sure. That stands to reason. That definitely stands to reason. Couple well, it's their heavy, their siege, and their carrier all in one. So oh, yeah. do the math on that one. It's a nasty. The big and naughty. Um, let's see what else we got. Um, can I expect more Stargate? So you'll see. Uh, so we can get to see the other races. Well, over here you've got um, the ancients. You can see. Well, that's just their shipbuilding, one of their shipbuilding yards. That's Cap Yard and that's their Frigate Yard. You're building some kind of frigate at the moment. Is that a colonizer? Uh, that's the Siege. Okay. It's the Destroyers. It's actual name, but it's the Siege. It's uh, not just a Siege frigate. It's just a. It's one of the better, smaller. Like, I get it after one research only, so it's, it's a I solid. Say, I haven't even started military research yet. I'm just chilling. <laughs> That's okay. Just figured one of us should probably, yeah. You know, all right, set all up right. some kind Bloody of boy. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'll have you know, I'm doing a magnificent job. That's okay. I got it. It's under control. It's just militia over here. No big. Uh, oh, credit cross decrease. Yeah, we'll take that. Enslaved labor. Yes, every time. Oh yeah. That's a good one. This isn't. Um, let's just take a look. Now it's clear that you've drawn uh, when it comes to your research trees. You, you've. Uh, it appears that you've drawn from a couple of different um, aspects, or a couple of different other stock races. Am I right in thinking that? Um. You're saying that I base it off? Yeah. I mean, I uh, used it as it, a blueprint to start, and then I've kind of customized it. Ba want. Based on what I can see, it doesn't seem to come from a single of the stock races so you haven't just taken um this is clearly based on the Vasari um from a UI standpoint but oh yes yes um it looks to me based on hovering over some of these technologies did you strip it all down to nothing uh, and then replace it with the things that you thought you would need no what I started yeah. with was uh when I started making this mod I didn't have any graphical assets so there was it all started off as restats of a base race, and I've been filling in assets as I go. I got you. So yeah, the gold would have been based off of the Visari to start with, and then over time they've just kind of. Interestingly, it looks like the um, the pieces of research that relate to Hull and the other one that I noted. Yeah, to Hull, they look more like their tech assets. Possibly because they of the wording. They might be. I may have picked, chosen um, different ones for them. I, I, that would have been set up years ago. And I don't have a guy doing UI stuff for me, so it's kind of whatever whatever works so far. I'd love to have somebody who would come in and do UI specifically, but for now it's just me. So. It's oh, so, I have it's pirates. A, it's a good stretch goal. It's a good, it's a good thing to look at for the future. Um, 
I, typically, I tend not to like many of the stock UIs anymore because I, uh, they're they're really nineties. They're really really nineties, and they that's kind of, true. They, they, they don't feel clean anymore um, as most modern UIs do. Um, Although I will admit that some of the ones I see in various mods don't really do anything for me. Oh no, I I, I can appreciate that. I think um, it, it's too too much fluff is basically, I think, my issue with the Vasari one in particular. I, all, all these little blibs and blobs, I, I just, I don't see it as necessary. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I really don't even notice it. I just, I don't even, it doesn't register with me. Oh, what are these pirate dudes doing? Hey, they all need to settle down. Yeah, this is bad. That's quite a few pirates that just showed up. We'll kill them all. They'll be fine. I called my fleet back. I might lose my destroyer. I think I'm no, gonna, I'm probably going to lose my trade ships is the ancient. It's like some of my ships coming back to try and deal with I'm pretty sure I'll be alright. Couple more researches and I'll be fine. Because once I get into my actual cruisers, it's when it comes to uh, ship strength, uh, do we find that a particular race has got stronger ships than anyone else? Or uh, it yeah. Well, hmm. Are you talking about general balance or just the way the race is set up? Because um, I'm sure that you can argue that certain We'll call it individual are... ship balance, because I think that's the easiest way to put it. Um, uh, it's really... Well, how to put it? Um, I have never shied away from bigger, higher supply ships that are non-caps. So you will find that in general, most races may have something larger than normal. Like the gold, I think the Hataks are 25 or 30 each. So they're, you know, almost like a half cap. Um, but they do have some smaller ones, too. Uh, whereas if you're playing the Ancients, it's all big stuff. Most of their cruisers are higher supply than a cap ship. Uh, and then you've got, you know, the Asgard that are sort of... They've got smaller stuff. A little bigger than stock, but not much. And their capture, yeah, like it's a little all over the map, really. I didn't set out to reinvent the wheel with this because it is an expansion, not a, a total. Well, that's exactly it. You've still got the stock races represented, so if you change the balance fundamentally, it would uh, hamstring them. That yeah, would ridiculously better. played around with, uh, with you know, stat and supply costs and that kind of thing. And one of the recent updates, I did a full, full revision of all the math on it. I have a giant spreadsheet that breaks down health with armor and regen and versus damage and levels it out per point and, you know, it's balanced. I know, saying somebody should... What's up, Majin? How you doing, my man? Um, someone should make a mod with both Star Wars, Star Trek and Stargate. <laughs> I have, just not for sins. The balance arguments it would cause are just beyond my station. No, oh, yeah, you. yeah. And, and people <laughs> love that. I did make it, just not for sins. Couldn't do it in sins. <clears throat> I mean, I must, I must admit, I've been tempted to do a little campaign because I'm, I'm relatively proficient at modding these days ish. Um, I've been relatively tempted to build my own totally unbalanced uh, variant just as a, uh, a fun campaign. Uh, so I, you know, take some ships from Ascendancy, a, a couple from Interregnum, uh, some from Dawn of the Reapers, maybe some from um, Stargate Races, all, all with permission to use, of course, um, for sure. just for myself for a campaign for YouTube. Um, I thought it might be quite a fun thing uh, to do with kind of my the supporters, you know, people who are on my Discord, um, people who have um, become. Uh, YouTube members or people who have become patrons, anything like that, uh, and they could name the classes of ship that go into the super race. Yeah. Well, I did make my big mashup mod. It's just for Star Ruler Two, and it's got uh, Stargate, Star Wars, uh, Battlestar Galactica, and well, I'm missing one. 
Stargate, Star Wars, Star Trek, and Battlestar Galactica all in Eco yeah, like in the mod says engine. slush dunk. Eco is uh, eco is relatively similar to stock, I would say. Um, yes. Based on what I'm experiencing right now, it feels like stock, uh, with regards to the economy. Yeah, there's no uh, per ship cost or anything like that right now. It's basically following stock. Uh, per ship cost is an absolutely terrible idea until 1.95, and then maybe we'll have something that can be represented nicely to players. Uh, I, I, as I say, I live in regret. <laughs> well, it's not a bad idea, and it, it's a great to idea. It too. Um, it's it's a wonderful idea, but the practicality is, if it's bad for the end user, it's a bad thing. And well, it, I should have thought of that, and I should have, um, yeah, well, I should have done things differently. Well, I'm used to it because having spent the last few years modding Star Ruler too. That's how it works. You pay per cap ship, not support ships, but cap. It's ships. probably quite so well I'm represented to the end user, though, in the way that that works. So, well, it um, has a radically different economy because it works on budget cycles. You don't have like a, a pile of money that ticks up. You have a budget every three minutes, and then you pay every three minutes for every ship as well. So it is quite different in that regard. Oh, you see, that would be fine. That wouldn't actually be a problem then, um, yes, because it, what you wouldn't get is drastically upping, money upping and downing. Yeah. Yeah, and it, it works there, but one of the main complaints is, well, we don't have a pile of money that we can build up, right? Because you can never build anything that's outside of your budget. Mm -hmm. Well, you can. There are ways, because you can do dry docks and do an increment. But yeah, it's a very different style. I think there's that. a mod that has dry docks for sins. I think it might be a sentency that does dry docking. Um, so you can like you can effectively mothball a ship temporarily or for as long as you want, and have it not cost you anything. Oh, okay. The dry dock in in, in Star Ruler Two lets you pay incrementally until you pay for the whole thing, so you can put you know ten percent of the cost into it, one budget cycle, and then it takes you half an hour or something because you're busy spending on other stuff. Then you put another ten percent in, and when you finally pay for the whole thing, plus whatever surplus there is. It get, you get the ship, so you can actually build something far larger than you can normally afford. But there are, you know, trade-offs to it, so... Let's start building some trade stations. We can buoy each other's economies. Yeah, I gotta go take that plan. Now that I've dealt with the... I can go back and take that thing, and then I can maybe do what I need. Didn't want to get wiped out in my own... <laughs> <laughs> in the stream. Did you send them to hard or Yeah. <laughs> It'll be fine. Everything's fine. No, are they on hard or are they on normal? Oh, Captain Forsyth says, any plan for an Orville mod? I'd kill for an Orville mod. I love the Orville. I, I, uh, I've said I it before, admit, and I'll say it I haven't again. watched it yet. Oh, it's lovely. It if you liked good good old Star Trek, like if, if, you, if, if TNG left you feeling good, like after the end of an episode, <laughs> like you, you know, you just kind of you have that little sigh. You go, "Ah, oh, that was nice," uh, and then you carry on with your day. Orville really does that to me. Um, I, like after every episode, whether they've been stressful or lovely or thoughtful episodes, I always think, "Ah, oh, that was that was really fun. That was really nice." At the end of the episode, every time. Um, and I must admit, I was quite dubious for, uh, when it comes to the first series because I thought there's going to be too much comedy. It's going to get on me wick. But that hasn't been the case, and it's just been it's just been an enjoyment. Where does this uh, wormhole go? That one over by the star. Hey, man. We should. That's uh, a good question. I don't see the other end. Go and have a shifty at that. Where's the wormhole research? I might be high for the gold. I'm not sure. I can do it. I, jump initiated. It's fairly low yeah, for the quite, ancients. It's, it's quite high. <laughs> and the ancients get it at tick too because, you know, Stargate, so... I'll, I'll go take a look. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'll catch. I'll take one of those. And we'll do some hull. You're over at the gas ramp. Pirates oh, and you may the know that mm. planets are way bigger in the... I've noticed That's one that. of the reasons I can do a one-to-one -one scale is that everything's scaled up as well. 
Now, I have noticed that everything is uh, quite large. It does mean that perhaps if, you, if you're a player of the mod uh, and you want to get things done a little bit more quickly, you might want to put faster or fastest uh, ship speeds Base on. speeds have been adjusted a little bit too, actually. I did actually change the normal speed to be faster as well. That's good. I certainly think that that's, that can be a necessary thing. Uh, let's see if yeah. we can get some hat axe on, on, on the go. One tick up. Come on. Hey, Little ball. I can... That's it. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I can specialize that. Like so. I should really pay attention to what my economy is doing. Oh, where are you attacking me? <laughs> you've, got quite, you've got quite a lot of... Um, uh, what's the word? Uh, lateral movement on your ships. On, on the small ships, the corvettes that you have. Oh, are they wiggling? <laughs> uh, drifting. They just ah. did like an extreme drift. <laughs> I liked it. I have to admit, I don't spend as much time doing the little details that, that uh, Stellar Paradox do. It's what makes you guys so good at this. Uh, sorry, Franklin, I don't understand what uh, posed as means. POZ? Do you, do you know what POZ stands for? I'm trying, it's in the chat? Yeah, yeah. He's talking about the Orville, he says the Orville is shot as a Star Trek show, but posed uh, af, which I presume means as, as flubberkins. Uh, I have no idea. Drags the show out of its time. I don't know which chat that's in, because you're in more than one, aren't you? Just, no, just the one, just the YouTube chat. Hmm. YouTube stream chat or whatever. Oh, there it is. It is, it does look good, doesn't it, um, 7th Electron? A lot of that is down to the, uh... The, uh, the Sins Re... Re? Mod. <laughs> Well, I had it looking pretty good prior to that, too. I finally figured out how to do the convert, because I do all of the assets natively, natively in PBR. Um, all of my texturing work happens in PBR, and then it's trying to figure out how to translate it back to the legacy shaders. And I finally found decent ways of doing that. So things were looking okay. And then I talked to John and, you know, finally got him to actually give this a go and well I'm not looking back now ah so there's the wormhole jumps across the star okay so there might be some good stuff to take by uh, the other side yeah we'll explore over there yeah it's quite a fun map this I have never played I almost always play just random maps Let's see should we get some caches as well yeah I I think they're actually one of the best bang for buck ships for damage for size. They're, they're quite strong. They have a they have a really high damage output for, as a core. So I imagine you'll find them not. Although my advice would be to try and get attacks as soon as you can. Uh, I've got one attack on on the trot. I just thought I'd get a couple of Alkeshes as well to support it. Oh yes, and you know, having looked at the stats really closely not too long ago, the the Alkesh is actually pretty good. Good to know. Good to know. I might I might save up and get a second attack just to uh, just to round it out. Oh yeah, my my late game fleets with the gold are basically you know twenty thirty attack and 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 cap ships and that's. <laughs> Away we go. It's like it's, you know, it's kind of like the goal of fleets in the sh fleets in the show. You just build up your attack fleets and roll over everything. So they're kind of simple in that way. But at the same time, why didn't they finish you? <laughs> Such yes, a I was a little upset series. they cancelled it. It was just starting to get interesting. I mean, I, I can I can appreciate why um, old school Stargate fans didn't. Miss Necessarily appreciate you. 
I, I sure, was, sure, and I, I get that too. I thought it was full of uh, really good actors, and I thought it was shaping up to be something quite interesting and unusual. But they just did, well, they didn't the way, get the time it needed. The way I look at it is we had 15 years of slightly goofy Stargate, you know, where they were having fun, lots of jokes. I didn't mind having a couple of years of a more serious. Now, if you thought the plot was a little too derivative or whatever, okay, fair enough. Being derivative is fine. Uh, I found something that's enraged me. Uh-oh, what did I do? <laughs> Nothing awful, to be honest. Um, <laughs> a couple of your dependencies on the defense tree. Uh, Research dependencies. The arrows uh, aren't there. Uh, the arrows are there, but they go over the button. So, uh, ah, deep, okay. deep space trade, you might want to move to a position that's above the current position. So, uh, you move it from position, Y position 2, uh, to Y yes, position 0. I, you know what, I am aware of those, and usually I left them there because I want the dependency the way it is. Um, I know that it, it glitches the graphic a little bit. I, I don't know, I have to look at it specifically, because I can't remember the tech tree offhand, but... So I know mad. that sometimes I left it like that because I just wanted the dependency to be there. Even though it, the arrow doesn't do what I really want. Grumble, grumble. Don't like it, grumble. <laughs> <laughs> Cyrus Mothership, what do you do? You're a uh, carrier. So car, you're the assault ship? Yeah, planet bombing damage you is go good. Up? No, I haven't read that. I actually don't... Uh, don't really go into a lot of that i basically stuck with the shows and i haven't gone much beyond that into are wraith players able to build the super hive oh yes oh yes there you go Aiden. and it is the largest ship in the it's a full 7500 meters long we like it Dan says okay so i like stargate <laughs> this this sugar lump was my childhood Trigger Lump isn't what he said, of course, but... <laughs> I'm sure you can uh, probably infer from the first two letters. Yeah, but... <laughs> I'll figure that out. Yeah. Hey, I can build auroras. I will be okay. Um, so Osiris. So or Sokar is very much a battleship it, to take out other ships. It's mm. basically like a siege kind of style battleship. Change my mind away from um, attack instead. The Osiris is a nice uh, fleet carrier with some support stuff. It's got a, a really good ultimate that makes it survive. The Sokar unfortunately does not have a custom model yet. I don't know how you'd feel about this, but I f I've always felt that the Al Kesh could be with a bit more colour. I might, um, I might be tempted to. Uh, you see the frontal segment of the uh, of the pyramid at the top, if you like. Where where am I? Where are you lined up? A clever plan. Uh, that's Teltax. Where are your Al Kesh? the heck do you have one? Uh, Homeworld. Homeworld, oh, okay. Ah, there's one. Yeah, uh... I've always felt that that could do with just being just a smidge bronzed to give it some colour. Maybe. I, 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 I know that's a departure from the stock long model. Long ago, and I actually looked at the stock art that was out there for it, and I was surprised at how monotone it really was. And I have to admit that PBR... And Sinsri can make colors not stand over as much as you're used to in the stock shaders. Because they, if they're metal, they just take on the ambient color more. Mm, so you lose that color definition sometimes. Which is realistic, but can make things look kind of monochrome. I think it depends on what you're going for. If you're going for like a, um, a really kind of this this particular shader would be great for an expanse mod. <clears throat> yes. It like, also 
will work incredibly well for Cylons in BSG because I've done them. It would the smooth metallics, yeah. Oh yeah, like the the Cylons in in the DOF mod for Star Two Early Two are just gorgeous. I think because the shader just does magical things with that kind of smooth. Darman says, I couldn't stand universe. As I say, it takes all sorts, doesn't it? Oh, we're getting attacked by the Asgard. Lovely. We'll be fine, don't worry about it. Out with it. Do not cross me. Stand Would you want in fleet? Yes, you are. Very good. Oh, lovely. Yes, yes, in the Empire's honor. Calm down. Oh, God, they got a cap ship now. That's not good. Where am I looking? Uh, my ass. Which means they're probably going to attack all over the place very soon. Because that's how they work. Oh, I quite like these uh, gun gears. Yes. We don't have a custom model for the light years. yet, but the long range has got kind of a fighter frigate. Let's see what else we've got. I think you can win this fight. Maybe. Everything will be fine. Has been depleted. Maybe. That is not the right cap for them to be using. So That's basically their anti-fighter cap. They have a specific cap that basically is just kill fighters because they don't have any fighters Planet development finished. oh but that's a hive ship that's not good left everything will be fine Do not cross me. yeah where's he going he's going to attack the volcanic that's what he's going to The boys are on the way. You're gonna no, be okay. okay. My cap arrived. I haven't lost. I've only lost one Corsair yet, so. Well, all right then. Speak. An excellent plan. Oh, but they've got. Yeah, Go Asgard. That. Hope they kick your butts. Damn it, Starman! Why are you so mean? Let's take a look and see what we've got here. Quick lock targeting, we'll take a bit of that. Looking at Jantax. An allied fleet needs uh, we'll assistance. take some improved containment. Long range targeting also sounds like something that I might want in and around my life. My power is unmatched. Oh god. <laughs> Yeah, now I got pirates too. This is not. Our supporting fleet has joined the battle. I presume that you're looking to replace the Sokar model. Yes, I would like to. I just don't have a model for it. I'm hoping maybe I can pull something out of SGI for. Got to talk to him. Fingers crossed. And legs. Research yep. finished. I actually got um, E Omega, e Epitron Omega, the original SGI. He did the Osiris model for this model. Because I, I still, you know, talk to him fairly well, not regular. So I asked him if he wanted to do something for the mod, and he came up with that. Nice, That's nice. a nice piece of work. Who would win, Gul Dukat or Gul Maset? Um, <laughs> That's up to you. I, I'm not answering that one. 
one thing that is um this is beta canon of course it's not alpha canon but one thing that beta canon suggests is that golma set was quite embarrassed by Goldicat. uh they were cousins or something uh which would probably suggest that golma set was Ooh. perhaps more rigid that's a hive ship oh hello <laughs> Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, that's a, that's. Hey, don't you run away! I'm just getting there. Well, I was moving on because the Asgard were leaving. We have company. I'm happy with this. They come attack. If they come and attack me, there's... we're gonna have words. <laughs> oh, that's two. That that's. Oh no, there's two hive ships. ships. That's just lovely. It's fine. It's fine. We got this. We got this. I think. I mean, it's okay. <laughs> You just stop panicking. <laughs> oh, that's my ship. No, it's not done. That's what's going on. Uh, right. Right. Um. Hmm. Sorry, I'm sending some stuff. Where's my arrow? That one. Aurora. Nice. Where's my destiny? Oh, there it is. Looks like the rest of the galaxy is utterly useless. Yeah, I was not seeing other places to expand that looked very inviting. the strike craft like crazy time to go you should probably get the destiny out of there uh, yeah he's taking a little damage there yeah. well I should have a couple ships coming in that will okay. I'll have some too as well well I can jump them out and then come back That's... might be better to come back in Oh yeah, I'm really taking some damage. An allied colony is under ah, that is really. Oh, there goes my colony ship. Yeah. I was just trying to distract its fire uh, because I don't really need that ship. Well, yeah, that's kind of why I left the destiny there. I wanted to distract. Me. Hmm. This is not looking good. Everything's fine. <laughs> Just you're worrying too much. Research finished. Captain Forsyth says, "Quick, someone get Rodney." Yeah. Good. A way to blow up a hive really quick would be good, right? One, I wouldn't be too worried. Two, eh, not so good. Destiny is too small, it would be the same size as the hive ship. Based on what we've we know, I don't think that's the case. No, Destiny is about a kilometer long. Hive ships are considerably bigger than that. A strange perspective's a funny thing, because you, you never really get to see the Destiny next to any of the traditional ships. It's uh... That's true. You can see um, of a different size. Lead the way. I'm gonna bring my boys in in a moment. That Aurora isn't looking to be great, Nick. No, I'm really getting chewed up. Scalable looks nice. Scalable looks real nice. Yeah, those were both um, done by. Uh, oh, what's his name? David Sandy, you may have heard of him. Um, the Aurora model is his Aurora is a million polygons, so that's my scale. There. I need orders. A million polygons. Yep, the original is a million polygons, so that was my cut down of. 
most of those polygons are like little doodads on it because all the grieving is actually oh, you know physical I'm going to be pushing my ships in in a moment yeah I had to back out of there because I was going to start losing still got an aurora that's not moving in there that's supposed to be I did not listen I bit paddle jump The good thing about the Aurora is it's got a power surge, so it's got some shield regen. Grab another attack, I think. Oh, I can't build another one yet. There are two Stargate Sins mods, uh, Rain. There are. We were almost three for a while. Oh, really? I didn't know about it. Yeah. There was another one called... I can't remember. <laughs> but there was definitely another one. I think, I think it was actually called Stargate Universe, although it wasn't based on Stargate Universe. Ah. Oh, boy. Leave them to me. The ships are all beat up really bad. This is not good. They don't stand a chance. Oh, you've got him distracted. Oh, now he's got an Odin in there. That's not. I'd rather get him destroyed. <laughs> yeah, I'll come back, but I'm not sure. Waiting on this is going to work out. We need to. Oh, there's up. an Odin oh, class. If I get oh. close to you. Okay, no, you've got a Cheops in there. A Ra, that's good. You, can, you have shield regen. That's great. Yeah, they do have an Odin class as well, though. Something to note. Well, luckily, the Odin is not a really strong combat ship either. Yes. It's their. Hard to kill, maybe, but none will survive. How's your planet health looking? Not too bad right now, okay. I'm gonna kill the siege frigate they've got there first. Okay, we're looking okay against the first uh, hive. It just no no it didn't uh, but it looks like he's gonna run I need orders oh I got anything that's in danger of going down uh, a few of my tell tax of course uh Al-Kesh is looking okay <clears throat> Hatax getting close to the end of its shield uh, possibility let's give it a hellfire vortex So we've wiped out the siege forget now I can come after that hive. She's nearly down. You seek my help. Our ships have left. And there's a second rod. Alright, what's our next target? Hmm? There she goes. What's our next target? Uh, probably the... Okay, I'm just, I'm just going to try and take out some of these smaller ships to uh, uh, whittle their fire down. Yeah, we could do that. It looks like the yeah, shields are down was... on the Burnerus. The Heimdall. Fire at will. Oh, yeah. See, but all of its weapons are really anti-light, so that they're, they're not as dangerous as some of the other. It's an odd cap ship because it really isn't meant to engage at the cap. And I'm afraid he'd kill it because he'll build something worse. <laughs> Fair point. We got lucky it wasn't a Bliskin or a Tear or an O'Neill. That would have been.
looks like they're running for the hills now. Yeah, yeah. Run to the hills. Why well, I got a fair bit of fleet supply in here now, so. Even though I only have three ships, four ships, it's 200 fleet supply. Boom shakalaka. All right, what's next? Nothing. Lead the way. <laughs> I need okay, I need more. More fleet command. I should really build a proper caption. I like starting with a destiny, but compared to my other options, it's quite Carrier operational. You were always on my mind. Try to make it out alive, but we let it slip away. Does the mod have the Daedalus? Uh, BC three or four? No, no humans at all. There you go. Yet. For now. Eventually maybe. Kill the sausage out of all these pirates. Take it to the CV lab as well. Be rude not to. Jamtak. Sounds fun. Jamtak is um. How to describe it? It's an anti-module frigate. They can actually shoot at other ships too. Okay. And those weapons are actually quite strong against cap, so it's really good at killing cap ships. It took a oh, while to get it balanced when I first implemented it way back when because I couldn't figure out what was wiping me out until I realized that anti module weapons are very strong against cap ships. Yes. Which is fine because I balanced around it now, so it's good. I like it. All right, I gotta get it. Colony is under attack. Allied colony is under. <laughs> All right, buddy. Yeah, I forgot about. <laughs> I'm so worried about the hive shift. An honor. I reckon we got this now. Well, as long as I don't lose any ships, eventually I'll be fine. That's the one thing about the Ancients. If you play it so that you don't lose ships, you come out okay. I'm not even but worried. that's the trick with them. Because they're so big and expensive, every time you lose one, it's not good. Sink some resources into it. Has joined the battle. Hello there. Let's get on with it. <laughs> Definitely going for air superiority here with the number of fighters now. Oh yeah, the gold get a lot of fighters. Actually, most of the, the stuff in this mod gets a lot of fighters. Fighter spam is, uh, but they're they're much smaller squads usually. Like the ancients will have a ton of squadrons, but it's one jumper per squadron. Mm -hmm. So it's not nearly as intensive as say the advent with what they have about twelve per squad or something. The Asgard had this brand new ship called the O'Neill. Oh yeah, oh, we blew boy. it up. <laughs> you blew what? Where did you find an O'Neill? <laughs> nah, that's what uh, Rain Freedom's saying. Oh, okay. Oh, I see what you're saying about the rest of the galaxy being junk. It quite literally is junk. It is. Huh. It's also a good place to send one of your conquest vessels. Research finished. 
Oh god, he's back again. Oh, back once again. It's the Renegade Master. Yep. An excellent plan. Oh, nice little now combined have... fleet. Now I have a problem because the pirates have killed my research sources. That could be a problem. My fleet is en route. Okay, I'm going to try and clear out some pirates if you don't. Because I can't build more ships at the moment. <laughs> we all know the Asgard are going to win. What's the point of even playing unless you're the Asgard? Dude! Dolly's the Ancients! Well. Look how ancient he is. And, uh, and who he's playing as as well. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, you got a hive ship there again, too. Okay. That's okay. I got this. I'm supporting fleet and join. I am man. I don't know if that's oh god. <laughs> Any chance you can get a repair station up? No, because they're tier 4 for me, and I haven't got 4 labs. It would make things a lot easier, but it's one of the downsides to them. They needed something to, you know, balance them out a little bit. With heavy crews are coming in. Do you need help? Uh, I'll let you know in a couple of minutes. I'm not 100% sure about how the balancing gear is going to go, so... Well, I can tell you that hive ships are 100 supply each, but that gives you some... Focus it down. you got a fairly good little fleet there, though. Little? Grab an Osiris. And I'm really struggling for metal. I'll grab a couple of Gen Tacks. Maybe a Luntac? Uh Star Base Builder. Okay. Oh man, Star Base. He says you cannot blow up the Asgard. We all know that the Asgard can only blow up the Asgard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're pretty tough. The Asgard are... Uh, the AI doesn't necessarily play them the way they really can be played because they have a star base that is really the key to their overpoweredness. Because it's like an economic powerhouse too. So not only is it a huge, massive, scary star base, it makes them a lot of money on top of it so they can get a crazy economy thank, thank you so much for the ten dollar donation starman that's really lovely lovely of you how are we going against this guys uh, i think we're gonna be okay um we're getting a little bit ropey on some of our hot tax yeah i'm sending my ships now i've cleared up the pirate it's gonna take me a minute to get yes. oh there goes the hot tax You basically just saved me with that, too. I'll do my best. Yes. Did you say you need men? <laughs> no, I didn't. They'll never see me coming. I seem to have excess metal. Mysterious. I lost a cap ship. No, no. Ships are supporting us. Make your choice. 
waiting on you. Ancient friends. Oh, I made it here. Good. Uh, I want to get close. Because I want your shield re bring me closer. I want to hit them with my sword. <laughs> He's going to run. He's afraid of my fleets. Oh, no. He killed him. Sure. You go. That's a solid little fleet. You didn't even really lose much. Uh, I lost a hat attack. Uh, That's not bad. For two or three Alkeshes. Yes. Yeah, the Alkeshes I don't worry about. That's the small stuff. It's those hat attacks and those squadrons and death gliders every victory is to make your enemy see they will which is fall. good because as the wraith there's going to be damn bonus. starman thank you again for the ten dollar donation that's really lovely right? all asgard should be overpowered it's the asgard way um i think that was a bit of a um a problem um in one of the last builds of sgi that i tried um the uh, the Asgard beam weapons on BC three hundred four was deadless. Ah, uh, uh, yes. They were so utterly overpowered that it made the mod, uh, from my standpoint, unplayable. Right. Uh, and I, I, I I think that's been rectified since. So uh, don't nobody panic. But <laughs> uh, I can't remember what they did. That was before I joined, but I remember giving them some advice on that. Like the Gentac. Is the Gentac a kit bash of um, an enlarged Elkash? You know, I really don't know. I found it years ago on some model site, and that's where it comes from. I, I, I feel like I it don't is. Know like, what he... if you, um, like if you take a look at the Elkash. Yeah, you're right. It does draw off elements of the of the uh, cash and, and then of course the attack. Uh, I think it might be enlarged and then, they, and then they've taken some of the uh, attack spurs and then they've popped that in. It looks good either way. I mean, absolutely got nothing against kit bashes. I like them. Yeah, well, you see so few ships in the show for them that, uh, you know, take any... I think creative license is a wonderful thing. I, I, um, I, I always really love seeing creative license in mods. Especially if you've if you've got a race where oh hello that's some pirates. Yeah, it looks like they're going after. Dog bastard. There go. Uh, do I wait? Far away am I from captions? Ooh. Absolute sausages. I have to decide whether I want to gamble or not, Go. Always gamble, my friend. Responsibly. Well, if I wait long enough, I can actually build <laughs> a proper cap ship, and then things will... Our fleet is engaged, but the enemy. there's a ways to go, because they're pricey. It's 10,000 credits. <coughs> oh, that is expensive. Yeah, well, it's 150 supply, so... The destiny is the small one at 75. Everything else is 150 or more. And God help you if you lose an ancient cap ship. It really, really hurts. Should be able to grind these pirates into paste. Jump sequence initiated. I will come help. I think I've pretty much got them. Actually, I won't come out because they're attacking me too. Quickly, executing. What should we give you? Telemetry relay, damage output plus ten percent. Yeah, we'll have one of that. Listening to some super chill music tonight. I'm quite enjoying it. <laughs> I used to be called Epidemic Sound, which is um, it's copyright um, free. 
pay a monthly fee for it, of course. But it's uh, you can get some really nice music of it. Well, I've got plenty of tracks I would love to put into this as background music. They're not necessarily Stargate, like break from the show, but you know, I have thought about soundtracks for this, but they give you the feel. It's always copy. Really don't want to cease and desist. So. No, I mean, typically, we've um, we've used some kind of defunct game yes. music, and we've never... Uh, I think that's what SGI did. I think, looking at some of the... I went through their, their audio tracks the other day, hmm. and they've got things that sound like they're from an R, another RTS of... So you're playing with the blue mon? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Let's do a better check. Okay. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're happier with the the revised bloom? <laughs> Significantly, yeah. It was too much before, and it, it, it's it's it, it's in a position that I'm quite happy now. Yeah, that's what I thought too. I mean, it was kind of a rush to get the beta out, the first beta, so it was what it was. What was the um what was the time element? I just the Max wanted a beta to play around with for Ages of the Federation. Oh, kind of stuff. <laughs> he was he was it was either get a beta out or do a private beta for him, so I think he's since realized how much work it is. Oh <laughs> he's given up, has he? He hasn't yeah. said anything to me. It's it's something well, it's something work that we... it is. Come on. I've converted two whole mods already. It's it's something that we've kind of discussed amongst ourselves, and I um, because he's got to make the models as well as texture them in the first place. That's um, true. We, we we kind of had to look at uh, how much of an improvement is this uh, over what we've already got, um, and we kind of gave that a percentile point. Um, we said, like based on the star boxes that we've already got, um, and on the visuals on the ships that we've already got, it's probably about maybe a, a seven or eight percent improvement like on each individual well, ship. yeah to be fair you've got really nice looking stock shader ships now and then we and thought we okay don't... so can we justify uh what's probably going to be 100 man hours of time um for that for that level of improvement at this point in the mods development and the answer to that had to be no because we've got romulan ships to do we're going to have other ships to do which i'm not allowed to discuss um <laughs> it, it, it's fair i mean i kind of figured that you know i mean mods that are well in the way unless they really want to do it or i think at some point it might be something that we all want to pick up but as i say it's kind of um we've got to get, kind of get the best out of the models that we have yeah, well i mean to be fair some of his latest stuff i've seen i don't know if the renders are actual screenshots i can't tell that's how uh, you can always point them out to me and i'll tell you if they're in game or not some of the vulcan stuff that he put out lately it like oh, that, the, that's all in game. It's just it looks really good. I yeah, think. that's uh, that. They're not um, his models. I think he does some touching on them. Um, he tends to run a lot of things through Substance Painter um, as like a finishing touch, so you can get um, some semi-realistic looking um, what's uh, scuffing and things like that, which are quite difficult to do if you're doing it natively in Photoshop. Um, yeah, which is why I wondered if he might make the, sh the switch, but I don't know how he does them, like in the format. He He's probably not doing a native PBR format in, no. in Substance Painter, so that makes it... I think he begins the textures in Photoshop and does it that way, in the traditional way. Uh, yeah, and then he that's what I, I, I figured that out eventually, that that's what he's doing. He's doing touch-ups rather than actually doing them natively. In As the, I must always say, don't on. quote me on any, on any artsy-fartsy stuff, because I might be wrong. No, I'm pretty sure that's right, because <laughs> I've kind of watched a few of the streams, and it looks like what he's doing. Which is fine. I mean, it is handy for doing some of that touch-up stuff. Lamech says, I love this mod. Thank you. Oh, Max, good guy, good guy as well. He does some streams. You should uh, check him out, folks. Lamec plays. Am I right in thinking that Lamec? Check him out. He does uh, fairly regular Twitch streams. I like the um, 
aura that you've got going on with the Osiris class mothership. Mm. Right, it's a. What does the aura do again? Uh, shields restored, weapon cooldown from the looks. Oh, it'll be weapon cooldown. Yeah, the, the shield restorer is the raw. Those two make a nice pairing, actually. The raw and the Osiris. It's usually what I pair up early. Looking good. I think we're uh, we're getting towards where I want to be from a fleet stamp. Just go on a little expedition. Shielding a bit. Are you, uh, in the future, going to be looking at kind of changing a bunch of strings uh, in order to sound more Stargate-y as well? Um, strings for what, specifically? Uh, like your research, for example. Yeah, maybe. I, see, I view a lot of that as, like, the, the finicky bits, right? And I'm usually worried about the broad strokes more. So, yeah, that kind of stuff would be nice. Uh, I have no timetable for that, though. People ask me about voices, too. For, you uh, know, time, like, like giving, giving any kind of timetable when you're a modder is a bad idea. We've, uh, like, you know, uh, the vast majority of us have got uh, uh, things that we do during the day. Many of us have, uh, you know, partners, children. Well, it's not just that. It, it's this that, I mean, it's all on me, right? I have to do, like, I. <laughs> I'll have to a do team. everything. You've got somebody who's doing sound yeah. design and somebody who's doing UI graphics and that kind of stuff. Whereas this is just me, so I have to pick and choose what I go after. Research finished. And I usually feel that getting a proper art asset in is more important than you know the voice being wrong. Well, I I'm a coder, so I'm always going to disagree with that. You know. Um, yeah. Hi. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm all about, does it have nice fluff? Does it work exactly as I want it to? <laughs> well, well, um, then again, it depends which strings you're talking about here. So, I think these are just reset. Uh, these are fluff, quite literally fluff. Um, so you're talking about things like, um, say, over here, we've got improved containment. Plasma right. projectiles consistently retain their desired shape. Um, well, Yeah, uh, no, those are actually already custom. They're just not great, right? Mm -hmm. Are they? High intensity. Yeah, I'm pretty sure yeah. that those are actually in my string file for SGR. Damn. Just because I didn't know what else to call it. Osmer's propelled more forcefully. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what? <laughs> I ran out of techno babble. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> Need better techno babble. Plus, when they were made, they were usually marathon one month projects for each race they were done in a month or something when I... uh the pika fan so says a lot um, of work in one quick Ooh. that looks like a sex toy what are you talking about my imperium no no it's the um the vasari trade ship i always forget what it looks like and then as soon oh, as i see yeah. it I'm like whoa <laughs> an allied fleet it is an odd looking thing is <laughs> Um, the Pika fan wanted uh, to let you know that the Death Gliders look great with the uh, with, with the reshade. Thank you. I retextured them a little while ago, and I was really happy with the way they turned out. Uh, my fleet's on route back in. You're know, taking a little bit of an attack. Oh, I am. But that's okay. I got a new cap. We're gonna go wreck their day. I love wraith ships. Wraith ships are so cool. That would explode yeah, and it's kind of funny because the wraith ships, they had, they, their textures are kind of low res, but they still look. Re I'm, I'm afraid to touch them. Some, some. I think it's the organic uh, nature of it. Oh, hello. That looks like a cap ship. Oh no, board ship. Oh, that guy's got it. That looks like they're coming in together. Well, he's a lot like your Hatax. He's a carrier and a siege. I gotcha. So he hits their bombs your planet while his fighters screw with everything. It's all right. As soon as my ships get in, they're gonna go straight for that horde. It's okay. I happen to have most of my stuff there too, so it's good. It's just taking a while for my cap to get. You know what I? Oh, I can't. <laughs> At Excalibur, I love it. Ships are supporting us. 
There, I'll buy us some time. Oh, you're here already. Oops. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Well, gotta wait for that to win. Oh, they're gonna run away. Okay. Cowards! Let's get on with it. Screw these guys. Let's chase after him. Okay. I'll send my cap with you, and then I'm gonna. S oh, I see. <laughs> Gull the sacrificial lamb strikes again. No, no, no. The cap is 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 gonna help you. Trust me. But the rest of them are gonna deal with pirate. They're attacking me. Looks again. like that horde's trying to come back in. So, where are that guy? Uh, I've got some Alkeshes that have come in, um, minor faction ones. Sorry, uh, Rampants. Okay. They do have a Marauder Frigate and a Horde ship both coming in towards you. Our fleet has engaged the enemy. Ooh. You've got quite the fleet. Oh, you're healing me. Nice. I love it. Yeah, it's a really strong cap. Especially if I get it leveled up. It should make life considerably easier. Because it can take out hive ships by itself with relative. It looks like the horde is now retreating because we've got uh, there are too many Alkeshes just giving it jip. Yeah, you've got quite a bit of fleet there. Nine attack, very nice. Well, yeah. Why not? Assistance. Oh, that's a lot of pirates. Straighting. Yeah, they're killing us with bounty. That's what they're doing. Don't underestimate me. That's all right. I'll just kill them with murder. Works. Open fire. Death ray. Yeah, we'll take one of those. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds, sounds like good. That sounds like something I want. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be rude not to. I can pass that up. On the DL? Really, really neat. Hmm. All chips at two percent. Research finished. Build that. There you go, their horde ship is down. Your planet's safe. Quickly. Oh, I wasn't even watching. Thank you. No worries. I do enjoy watching Hitak bomb a planet. It's quite satisfying, isn't it? Yes! <laughs> How you doing, Vegeta? You good? A blade of crust is really irksome. Gives it an extra like twelve hundred and fifty health. Quickly. Oh, on the planet, right. <laughs> An allied fleet needs assistance. What do I need for the Apophis? Is that the uh, generally I find oh, that no. with the gold taking out a planet is the least <clears throat> Your fleet is usually well suited. Yes. A 
That's that's some red beams of doom right there. Vegeta is loving the ancient ships. Imperium class revenant. Yep, that's that's my doing. That's a kit bash out of the Aurora. I made that. Nice to know what it would look like symmetrical. <laughs> it's actually a kit bash of the two of them, really, because it's it's got uh, the Aurora's tail and the midsection from the Excalibur and the nose from the Aurora. Yeah, it's a real mess. Right, I'm pushing to um, Adachi. I will send the cap along with you. And is there something I can take? Maybe I'll go straight forward and try to get the other mechanic. Uh, looks like there's a horde chip and all sorts of things just turned up here. Mm. And they're having a bad time. <laughs> they're having a real bad time. Oh, that's a mothership. Okay. I bought the jump, kill the mothership. Ah! It's too late. I'm jumping. I'm it's coming back. Oh, you scared him off. How's he run? Yeah, he jumped already. So. What is it now? I'm on the way. That's okay. I'll wait for you here. Hmm. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I don't like it up him. Waiting on you. Oh, kill the hive ship first. I think it's the biggest threat. Ooh, they're really chewing up my sheep. So I'll be there shortly. Time to research. Hello. <laughs> I should help you shielding because we've got maximum level now yeah. without shield regeneration. I noticed. I looked when you got here. And then mine, if I get a few levels, will be healing yours up a little bit too. Hostile forces are seen there it goes. You next. Oh, things are really blowing up. The other thing that's really nasty about attack is. They do a lot of damage if you get them in the middle of stuff. Because they have equal damage on all. And all told, it's higher than normal. Mm. So if you use them right, attack are really strong. A couple of enemy cruisers are corrupted. More metal is required. Okay, so he's running. Oh, I'm gonna go. Ooh, your planet's jumping. I'll go. Quiet. Quiet. You built quite a fleet here. Uh, Auroras, lots of them. Nice Excalibur and your Destiny. Nice. Yeah, I could use some more Excaliburs, but. Uh... I went for the Auroras because it's just a lot sturdy. And when we're in trouble, the way I want. <clears throat> I like the Spire battleship. Most of the race ships come from Pegasus Chronicle, Chronicle mm. so they deserve most of the credit. It was Wolf 2.0 who did them. He did a nice job. Yeah, they look good. They look very good. 
Although, giving them some sort of scattering really helped them along in PBR too. That poor Spire doesn't stand a chance. I think he's going to get out, though. That is a whole mess of gold hurt that just jumped on him. Right. Okay. A bit of that. See. Let's bomb the ever-living hump off its world. All right. So the Asgard homeworld is just to the right. Well done on the ancient ships. Yeah, yeah, they do. Attacks have got such a powerful weapon sound, says the Pika Vod, they have. Yeah, they sound pretty awesome though that they've got a custom effect. I was pretty happy with how that turned. It's almost like a scream, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> like when they're bombing planets at least. Ooh, that's a lot of pot. Where are they going? Oh, doubtlessly my whole world. It's what they do. I don't know. I have lovely luck with pirates. It doesn't matter. Every game I play this, pirates up the yeah, they're after me. got a couple of uh, attack. They'll deal with it. One thing I have to give them about the AI in this game is it is actually quite good at harassing with bounty. Maybe it spends too much on it, really. Yes. Titan factory required. But it seems like almost every game I play, they are constantly harassing me with bounty. <laughs> You're pushing forward? Uh, yeah, I thought I'd go for a numbers. Okay. Out with it. Planet development finished. Hoping that my limited stock of ships will do what must be done. I think we've got them broken at this point. I was considering jumping to the side and taking out the Asgard homeworld there. Might be worth doing. Out with it. Because I don't think the Wraith have anything to reason. I've oh been told God. to leave the Asgard alone. So right. I'm attacking the Wraith right now. Okay. Well, you know, if they send out a Titan at us, we're screwed, so. Everything will be fine. An Asgard Titan would end the game right now, I'm pretty sure. Bah, it'd be fine. Ships are supporting us. You say that, and then they'll be running and screaming. <laughs> right. I once had a game, one of my test games, where I chased. I had running battles with an Asgard Titan for three hours before I could finally kill the. It would come in, it would beat the crap out of my fleet, or I'd finally wear it down managed to survive it but i couldn't get it. it was ridiculous it's also I kind of awesome kind of want one yeah what well, is the strongest ship in the game i reckon i can break it Ships are supporting us. it's uh 500 supply 600 easy no <laughs> worries easy easy good good <laughs> <laughs> but you've seen pictures of it i think yeah i have yeah that really wasn't what it was supposed to look like, but... 
I could never bring myself to try to design what was in my head properly, so I just used what I could. And it's a nice model anyways. I love that model. Looks like there's a hive ship chasing your um, Yeah, Imperium. where is he going? And I sent him... Do you think he'd be concerned about the massive amount of bombing his, his world was currently on? Yeah. You'd think. He's just being vindictive now. You're gonna bomb me, I'm gonna go call your planet. You seek my help? Understood. You go help kill pirates. Excuse my language. That's fine. I'd forgotten to that I wanted to build something. I meant sugar lumps, of course. <laughs> I need to scuttle some factories, I think. That's what I need to do. Free up some slot. Oh, where's that wraith ship gone? Devious. Did it run away? Must have. Executed. Or did I kill it? Either of those are a possibility. It is possible. I wasn't really... Oh! Okay, he's coming to fight. Coming to play? Yes. He does not like me blowing up his stuff. Which I guess I understand. Oh, yeah. he be jamming. But I think he's gonna find that it's not so easy. Because nothing in that fleet is easy to kill. What is the Asgard Titan, anyways? Is it the O'Neill? Says uh, no, it's uh, a custom Pick ship. Up. It's called the. Well, I call it the Ragnarok Colossus, but yeah. the model is called the Thor, and it's done by uh, AIFX. I'm not sure if it's AI or Al. The font is not really clear. Oh, there's the hive. He showed up to help. Oh, yeah, so he did. I'm not sure what it can do at this point. <laughs> not sure what any of them can do. No, I don't think they can stop. He might kill a couple of my ships there. This is. I think you're going to roll over him. This is fairly reflective of the, um, of the stock AI at present. 1.94, I think, has got a problem with... Uh... I didn't think the AI did too badly in this game. We just slowly managed to... <clears throat> Early in the game, it was kind of... If you hadn't been here, I was screwed. So. Uh, I've noted that the AI seems to have been weaker in 1.9. In general, it just it doesn't seem to build its smaller ships. It goes for the cap ships, no mm -hmm. problem, but the smaller ships it just ignores. That's did you blow up one of my ships? You did. Okay. Our glory shall be restored. What is it now? I'll come help. Well, he just managed to blow up one of my battle cruisers. I mean, I kind of thought I might lose a ship. Consider it done. Mm, oh, an Aurora. Oh, now it's starting to get a little price. Nice looking ship. Oh, my cap is taking a long way around to get there. That's 
Ah, well, I can see why it's so expensive now, isn't it? Devious. Our supporting fleet has joined the battle. What's that? I can see why the Apophis is so expensive now. Ah, it's a pretty good ship. Subspace beacon. Friendly forces have arrived. Our fleet That's the ability I need to go back to the old version, since they fixed that in 194. That was the one I had to replace. Hmm. I didn't, uh... Get around to trying the old way again. I'm assuming it's gonna work. Uh, it still throws errors in dev mode. Oh, does it? The one now, right now, is a, a custom one that just spawns a couple ships, kind of fakes the fleet beat. But it's um the way it used to be and the way it is now. That they're, uh, they're not all that dissimilar, and they they ultimately have the same effect. Um, all of, um, all of STA3's files are unbinned, uh, except for meshes. Um, so jump into there and I can give you a couple of abilities to have a look at if you want me to. Um, no, I think I'm okay. Like it's, it, I fixed the ability by replacing it with something that just kind of spawns in a couple ships a different way and then fakes the effect. So it's not as cohesively well done as the original spawn ships, but it works. Well, as long as it does what you want, I suppose. Yeah. Anyway, it's less random, but you know, that's okay. Yeah. When you use it, I'll see. It's just... The timing's a bit off on it. Quickly. Quickly. Don't underestimate me. What? Oh, that cap. But the big cap wasn't so stupid. Jumps and he had the little one like it should. But it's being a little brain dead. Oh, look at you. The Apophis on the move. I'm gonna lose one of my worlds, though. You are? Where? Adachi. Just getting sieged out. Uh, okay. Jump sequence initiated. Our ships have left phase space. I don't think it really matters if you lose that planet when you're actually taking out, you know, their home world. No, no, it doesn't. They're not going to recover, whereas you, you know, losing an asteroid is not really good. What is it now? One of our colonies has been lost. Pirate. Always with the pirate. I need orders. Our supporting fleet has joined the battle. Hey, Lord Reaper. How are you going? Let's get on with it. Wow, I've really re neglected my research in this game. It's kind of funny. Jump sequence initiated. I always loved Apophis's ship. Yeah, technically it's Sokar's ship, I guess. It's always one of those things. 
I've debated renaming it, but yeah. That's a big shuffle. And I don't like the one that gets assigned to Apophis by it. It's kind of a weird looking thing. I'm content with the rules the way they are. I could maybe do a name switch. I don't like I don't really like Anubis' ship very much. No? Well it's kind of just a big spiky circle. It's an effective Titan though. I imagine it yeah, I imagine it does a good job of what it does. Its special ability, like its ultimate, yes. could use some work. I never did get it to work quite like I wanted. I await your command. It's still effective. If it worked the way I really wanted it to, it would probably be overpowered. <laughs> this is the height of disdain. I've got a hive ship behind my fleet and I'm just ignoring it to continue bombing the world. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's what you can do with the ghoul. That's what makes them so nasty, is you can continue sieging while engaging. It's very, very bad news. Oh, there goes the who knows how to use the ghoul can probably do very, very well. got to say, this mod looks great, says Pikafun. Uh, I will definitely play it. Good stuff. Oh, thank you. Uh, when was this updated? Uh, last week? Uh, the last update was the last time I updated Sins Re because I wanted to pull out some temporary stuff. So, yeah, it would have been something like that. Or the week before. Not long ago. I don't know when the next update will be because I've been working with uh, Interregnum a lot. Mm hmm so, of course, can't work on two things at once. An Appreciate that. Plan. Although I am relatively happy with where it is at the moment. I mean, gameplay wise. Yeah, yeah. Do not cross me. Stop sieging my world. Absolute shower of bastards. Yeah. They have been relentless with pirates and those little siege. Do the ancients get Atlantis as a titan? They do. There you go. They do. And it's yeah. Well, you saw it in the the game menu when you started the game up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Atlantis. Planet development. You didn't get to see a super hive. They didn't get to build it this game. Although if they had, we might have a very different story. We'd be fine. We'd be fine. Because the Superhive and the Asgard Titan share the same 600 slot roll. Like their, their 600 supply roll. They're the, the two biggest, baddest ones. You it just have it to would be no worries, something. mate. Everything would be fine. <laughs> you have faith in your ten attack. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's good. 100%. That's, I'm the gold. Everything's That's fine. a good gold, you know? I'm invincible. I am your god. You can't defeat me. Jump sequence initiated. What's going on over here? Have we bombed this world down yet? No. Our supporting fleet has joined the battle. Needs more bombers. Needs more attack. <laughs> Ah, these, um... That, that is probably the downside to the gold, is they're a little one-dimensional. Because they only really need to spam attack and they're effective. Well, maybe that's something that you could, uh, you could choose to change. Well, it's also very, future. very lore, uh, consistent, though, I think. It is. Which is why I haven't really worried about it. Because you play them, and I think it feels like the goal, right? You're, you're spamming attack, and away you go. Away you go. <laughs> yep, you're good to go. Good way to look at it. Just need to just need to call any frigate, and you're good. Oh, 
on the Hatai. They've got a great Extra big, trot. actually fairly strong colony frigate, so yeah, they can control on, neutrals yeah. really well. Easily. All power to phase drive. Preparing for phase jump. Where will we settle? Or oh, going to do one more game? No, I'm not. No. It's now three o'clock in the morning for me, so doing another game. I was gonna say it must be getting awfully late for you. Already. Yeah, it would probably be detrimental to my health if I continued playing. <laughs> Despite the fact that it's enjoyable. Well, we could certainly try another game another day if you'd like. Oh, it's I certainly another... wouldn't whinge about it. Um, I'd probably like to have a look at um, probably the Wraith. Okay. I've got a problem. I always like the bad guys. <laughs> yeah, the Wraith, kind of similar to the Gold in a way. They, I mean, they got the same strong carrier, but it's not their heavy too, so they're a little more... The interesting thing about them is they only have one caption. It's just hive ship. Friendly forces have arrived. Oh, that's interesting. A clever plan. Consider it done. And of course the super hub. You seek my help. Right, do we want to go to Kyn do we want to go to Kynar and see if we can finish this? Sorry, what was that? Do we want to go to Kynar and see if we can finish Come them off? Jump drive. Yeah, I was going to as soon as I took Don't out a couple sprites. That uh, last module there, and then I was going to. That shouldn't take long to blow up. An honor. Got some boys to come with you. Yeah, my reinforcements got here too. Search finished. Easily. Moving on. I'm hoping eventually John and I get to plants because I really like to get that normal scene fixed in the plant. Oh yeah, yeah. The the shadow scene is it's quite yeah. It's, quite obvious, it irritates isn't it? me because I can't figure out what actually caused it. It was. It's, it's something I noticed earlier, and I took a screenshot of, but I wasn't going to mention it. No, I I know it's there. It's just that it's not in the actual. Like if I view it in the XSI, it's not there. It, it's something to do with the way the game is reading the normals. It yeah is not showing up in the any of the. Three. Well, and it, it usually diffuses it, it over a but, um, over a little while, but it's much sharper in uh, in Sinsry. If you have the post processing on it, it pumps it up a little bit. But I'm pretty sure that with Sinsry, when it goes to actual normal rendering, it'll go away. Oh, but the thing is, it has to do with uh, uh, external illumination. It's the legacy of shader and tangents. Sorry, what was that? Maybe it has something to do with external illumination or applied external illumination. It, it's something to do with that. Oh, by the way, there's an Asgard star base. He did build one. Yeah. It's uh, quite large. Take a look at his home world. Oh, yeah. Let's give that a good kick in. Yeah, I'm kind of afraid of it. Look at the stats. <laughs> I think it'll be fine. It, it's fully, fully upgraded. I've, look, I've got, two cool. I've got two attacks coming in to join you. Oh, okay. Well, two attacks. You don't have to worry. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. And an El Cash. Jeez. <laughs> oh, okay. You're right. I, I don't have to. I need orders. I wondered if he would get a star base built. Uh, is that going to prevent loss of the colony? No. It oh, does we... not look like we could just blow up the plant. But... Let's bomb it out. <laughs> Okay. Horrible individual that I am.
Well, yeah. No hmm. fighting chance for them. Might as well. Well, it's getting late. We might as well finish them. Your planet is under sea. What might be nice? What's that? Uh, do you do particle effects? Uh, badly. Uh, maybe, maybe not. I envy your team's ability with particle particle effects. You do really, really nice. I, I was going to say it might be good to get particle. Uh, it might be good to get muzzle flashes. <clears throat> for some of the ships. Well, they do have a flash. Well, some of them do. Yeah. Probably a stock effect. Probably. I usually concern myself with travel before more than minute. Oh, we have quite a planet home. You seek my help? Surely there can't be any more of them anyway. Oh, well, this is going to be the last of them. And yet yeah, I think this is. Quickly. I think if we take these out, it'll be pretty much. Executing. We well, lock the teams, so can they can't they? They have to surrender together. Oh, do they? I'm not sure. I didn't think they did. I thought one could quit before the other, but I. It could be. I, I'm not sure. In all honesty, I can't remember. How did the pirates get over there? Why are they so inconsiderate? <laughs> <laughs> well, they are pirates, you know. The level is my cap. More metal is required. Mm. Friendly forces have arrived. I'm trying to decide if, it, if it's Allied going to be able to bust that attacking. star base by itself or not. Maybe. Hostile forces are siege in our planet. An allied fleet needs assistance. Supporting fleet has joined the battle. Oh, that poor puddle jumper. He's about to have a real bad time. What's he doing? Oh, yeah. That's a bad place for him to. <laughs> On the plus side, I'm very happy with the way puddle jumpers look. They do look good. Actually, all the strike craft look really good right now, I think. They turned out well. Mm, they, did, just they, not very... they seem a lot more detailed uh, than I expected them to be. Puddle jumpers? Jumpers? Uh, fighters in general. Usually they're not given a great amount of... Uh, well, amount. to be fair, I don't use really low poly models for them either. They, they're probably a lot higher poly than they should be. Waiting on... But on the plus side, they're very low number, so I think it's okay. Oh, Aurora's... Don't get close to that thing. Not yet. Everything will be fine. Let's get in there. <laughs> I'll go at the star base, but not until I can send my cap. Where did those come? Preparing. 
bunch of ships just arrived. Not a bunch. Hmm. Alright, a bunch more are arriving. Yeah, I see your other bunch. This planet is taking a while to get. Everything will be fine shortly. <laughs> no, and the reason planets have that seam is because I actually created my own planet object, and for some reason the tangents didn't work out. Okay. Um, now I try. Oh, there you go. Good aid success. Yeah. Well, that was fun. Well done. Looks really nice. I think you carried us that game. Good job. Ah, you did alright. But yeah, I, I should actually try resizing them, but the last time I tried a resize tool, it screwed up the tangents in other ways. I stole all the planets. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're teammates, you know, so I wasn't too worried. I, I'm a bugger for that, you'll, you'll find. <laughs> if we hadn't been locked teams, I might have been more worried about it. There you go, your, your cap ship was a higher level than any of mine. Oh, I didn't even look at the stats. Oops. I, I like to just have a quick shuffle through the... Um, I do too, actually. Not that it gives me any reasonable information, but I think some of the guys who watch me are much better Sims players than I am. <laughs> so they kind of... Uh, it gives them a better understanding of my playstyle so they can beat me in the next community match. Well, yeah, I mean, and they seem to like that guy you're streaming with. It's you know. <laughs> wow, squads bomber, all of them. <laughs> squads interceptor, even more. <laughs> yes, there's a lot of squads in this game. In in this mod, I'd say. My metal income rate was just awful throughout that match. I had excess metal the whole game. But... Oh, man! <laughs> That's why I asked if you needed any. Oh, did you? Well, I wasn't listening. Yeah, and you said no. And I was like, okay, fine, I won't give you any. I'll just say... Oh, well, I regret that decision. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> But folks, if you've enjoyed what you've seen today, please do check out the links in the description below. Both uh, Sins Remastered and indeed um, Stargate Races are there as links in the description below. If you think you might like to play games like this with a community of people who also enjoy similar games, my Discord link's also in there. Oh, and a link to Twitch. If you're so inclined to watch my Twitch streams. And thank you very much, Dolly, for joining me. Oh, thanks for having me. Oh, that's been it's nice playing. That'll be the end of the stream for tonight. Oh, it's just just above two hours, so about where I wanted to be. Nice. I'll see you soon, okay. folks. Good night.